What's up guys? Today we're taking a look at the FMS K5. Gonna go over a couple tips and tricks, uh, my thoughts on the truck out of the box, and a few upgrade parts, some specific to the K5 body, some for the FCX platform in general. Out of the box, the K5 Blazer is a great truck. Uh, whether you're looking for a trail truck that can keep up at a walking pace or a outright crawler that can do fairly well bone stock, uh, the K5 will do it. Um, has the two speed, uh, a nice light setup out of the box. I do wish that it had taillights. It is headlights only, but at least they are the warm yellowish color instead of the hyper white blues. Um, I do wish that out of the box FMS would start cutting out the rear windows. I have cut this one out at this point. It was quite a messy job. Um, it's not terribly hard. It's just get your lines straight, tape, tape off at the windows so you can figure out where to cut and everything. And they give you quite a bit of window material down below the original where the cut line would be uh, so if you do cut a little deep it's not the end of the world but I, I just I wish they would start doing that out of the box uh, the smasher monster truck also came with no cutout for the rear window but the plastics are there behind it so why not just cut them out um, I have taken the top off of mine cut the rear window out and thrown some little scale accessories in there well bungee cord and everything and mine did come with the front bumper and the roof rack um, I have not put the roof rack on but I immediately put the front bumper on and it makes a noticeable difference over the stock chrome one um, I wish instead of a roof rack they had done a tube style rear bumper for it out of the box um, because this bumper as you can see by the, the scratching catches on everything uh, I do recommend for the shocks um, out of the box they come with uh, a bag of o-rings they are friction shocks out of the box uh, but if you take the shocks apart peel the bottom cap off two small o-rings in the bottom a large o-ring in the top and fill with the viscosity oil of your choice um, it does make it ride much nicer. Now, I only filled my shocks about halfway because I did still want a little body wiggle because K5s had had some wiggle and I didn't want to damp it to the point where it didn't move like an actual K5. Um, a quick tip and trick is on the front of this truck down on the axle there is a screw right here and that screw when you steer acts as almost like a stop for the knuckle if you remove that screw I've already done it on this side if you remove that screw and you put it on the back side right here it will allow the truck to have more steering at that point instead of acting like a stop so that is the side that I have not done yet and it's right here compared to flipping just that screw from the front side to the back side it makes a noticeable difference it's a quick easy free mod I uh, highly suggest doing it um, I did throw uh, some aftermarket weighted uh, Triel vintage style wheels on here and a set of the RC four wheel drive Baja Pro X's and seems to work pretty well um, I've been running it quite a bit and haven't really had any issues with it the two-speed works perfectly fine every single time um, I do wish that on the rear roll bar um, that if you were to leave the lights off I wish that the bar was low enough to still be able to clear the front edge of the topper 
so that you could maybe put it on a set of magnets and pop it back on or pop it off when you want. Um, I understand if I take this off, I could still put it on and off, but sure would be nice to, uh, I know you guys can't really see it because it's tinted, but to have the roll bar coming down along the inside of the back window. Um, but like I said, you can remove the bar and it will still fit back on with no issues. Um, I did have some mail come in today, and while there is quite a few things out for the FCX24 platform already, um, there's not many things for the K5 body specifically. So I went hunting, and uh, there's a, a store on Etsy by the name of Joe RCs, J-O-R-C-S. And they have quite a few things for the Unimog. That grill was for printed from Joe RC's on Etsy. And I think I paid like $6 for it. That Unimog originally had a pretty ugly stickered grill on the front. And I wasn't crazy about it. And that grill definitely brought some more scale appearance to it. Uh, but I have picked up some things for the Blazer from that shop as well. Uh, obviously there is no interior in this and you can see wires or through the truck even with the tinted windows especially if you open up the rear window it's going to let more light in and you're going to be able to see all the wires and mess so they have for twenty dollars a interior um, it's not painted you can leave it all black. You could paint it whatever color you want. You could make hot pink if you want. But it uses, on the underside of the truck, the mounts for the interior glass, your windows, windshield, rear window, and such. And so on the underside of this, you have this screw and this screw. And there's also two screws back here that hold the glass in as well. This utilizes the front two screws to hold the interior in place. Now, at that point, it is installed once you were to screw it in. Once again, I know it's hard to see because of the tinted windows. Um, and at that point, speaking of the tinted windows, you could potentially cut the glass to roll the window down all the way or cut it at a slight angle part way or two thirds of the way down to roll the window down and get a better view of your interior. Um, the next thing that I picked up, uh, speaking of that, chrome rear bumper that hangs on to everything and if you did get a pre-order that came with the aftermarket front bumper um it doesn't it just it doesn't really flow i mean you've got your black front bumper you've got your black roll bars and then you still have a chrome rear bumper that hangs on everything so that same shop has uh tube style bumpers for the front and for the rear they have a double style double tubes and they also have a single large like bar style single tube um, front and rear as well and swapping these out are as simple as pulling these two screws on the back Putting the new bumper on and reapplying the two screws. And that's all it takes. Very quick and easy modification. Um, will make a huge difference in terms of hanging up on stuff. Yes, you're going to probably lose your license plate. I know, scale points. But that's still a good looking bumper. And if it's going to add performance, I'm for it. Um... Speaking of performance, there's one more part that I'm just going to screw these in real quick off camera. One more part that I had picked up today for this as well that isn't necessarily specific to the K5 version of the FCX24, 
So for those who may not have a Blazer yet or are undecided, but may already have a FCX 24 platform truck, um, the FCX 24 only has one position for mounting the shocks out of the box. Um, doesn't leave you many options for trying to get a lower ride height or a softer or more progressive spring setup. Um, and it just in terms of tunability, you, there isn't, isn't many options for it at that point in terms of how you want to mount your shocks. So once again, the same shop, Joe RC's Etsy, there's your rear bumper mounted up looking nice and clean, tight to the body, not going to hang up. Same all the way across, nice clean. I mean, compared, it's a noticeable difference. Um, but in terms of the shocks, they also make shock keys. So simply bolting these on um, to one of your shock mounts will give you multiple options to mount your shocks in different locations, which for tuning or different style of shocks, or if you want to try running double barrels or anything along those lines, or just want to try and get a little bit lower ride or maybe a higher ride height uh, shock keys come in very handy um, they're fairly cheap I believe these are eight dollars for a set with uh, elongated screws uh, for the truck itself the rear bumper uh, two different styles uh, single tube style double tube tube style seven bucks take your pick which style and the interior just coming in raw black is $20. Uh, shipping is very quick. You're only looking at a couple days usually. The print quality on them is very nice. And installation on this, like I said, with the two interior glass screws is extremely simple. Um, I may take some Sharpies or small paints and maybe do a little detailing along the actual gauge cluster and possibly along the... Uh, glove box section um, might hit the seats with something. I'm not sure yet, but it is a very solid, very thick, sturdy, solid piece. Um, I don't think you have to worry about, except for maybe th these two small pieces, I don't think you really have to worry about uh, having to squeeze it in the body and it's snapping or breaking a tab off or something along those lines. It's, it's a very durable piece. Um, now, one thing I will caution is with printed parts, especially in black, in black vehicles, in your actual real life one-to-one -one vehicle, printed parts will not hold up to extreme temperatures. Uh, if it's a normal PLA, um, they will tend to get soft, they will warp, they will droop, and if you're lucky, you can bring them back, but sometimes they just get too far gone. So if you are going to go the route with printed accessories, printed body accessories, printed wheels, or anything along those lines, anything that's printed that you may put on your truck, take caution. During the summer, do not leave it in a vehicle. Don't leave it in direct sunlight because it will destroy the parts if they get too warm, and it's not hard to do. Um, but yeah, I figured uh, go over the truck a little bit, figured I'd show you some of the things I've done to it and what I've got coming for it. Um, at this point, probably gonna work on getting this interior installed today and probably throw those shock keys on and mess around with that a little bit. But if you haven't picked one of these up or you're on the fence about it, highly suggest it. Uh, like I said, if you're looking for a trail truck to go walking through the woods that can keep up uh, with a walking pace or a little bit faster, um, for sure. If you're looking for uh, a platform to build um, just a, a wicked crawler that still looks fairly scale, 100%. It, it definitely gets it done. Um, there's 
plenty of parts out for the, the 24 FCX 24 platform itself. Um, not a ton out for the K5 body yet, but I would not hesitate to buy it again if this one disappeared and I had to go get another. Um, in my book, it may be truck of the year uh, for under 200 bucks all day long. It, it, it crawls extremely well. It drives extremely well. It is nice to look at and watch articulate and get through everything. And I'm very pleased with it. Um, great truck for the money, period. So if it's something you're on the fence about, go for it. If you're looking to spice it up a little bit and make it unique and make it yours, check out Joe RC's on Etsy. Um, and I did notice that I had picked up the last one of these a couple days ago and checking it this morning, there was already a handful of them back in stock on the store. So if they are out of stock, when you go to order one, give it a couple days. Uh, they should be back in stock fairly quickly from what I've seen. So on that note, I've covered all my topics. I think that uh, just about does it. Hope you guys have a good day and uh, keep the shiny side up. See ya.